we're sweeping the output filter of the linear amplifier. Over here on the left of the screen is about 1 megahertz and it's sweeping up here to the right to 50 megahertz. So right here this bump that's in the middle is about 25 megahertz. So each division is worth about 5 megahertz here. Here's 20, here's 15. So we're rolled off a little bit at 15 and it rolls off pretty steeply right after that. It probably wouldn't have hurt for this filter to be tuned a little bit higher before it started rolling off. We'll have to wait and see how that ends up affecting the output. We can change the sweep range, we can lower it down and I'm moving it over to, now it's going to from 1 to 30 megahertz and if I take it to 20 20 is on the right hand side of the screen and if we take it on down to 14 there's where we're going to be operating so it's really not taking too much off of our off of our signal let's go ahead and see if we can measure that DB loss through there at this point we need to get a peak to peak reading here one two three four five about six divisions and I have one volt per division so we have six volts I have my my probe set to times ten so this is actually one volt per division and over on the fourteen megahertz side I have one two three four about four point four So if I take 4.4 volts divided by 6 volts, that's equal to 0.7333. If I take the log of that and multiply it times 20, that'll give me the dBs. And it's a minus 2.69 dB. So the cutoff on this filter is, is right around the area we're working. I might take and adjust the inductors a little bit so to raise that a little higher in frequency. But using the formula, dB is equal to 20 log E1 over E2. That's what we want to use for voltage. We're going to run a measurement here of the gain of the amplifier now. When you do this, or if you do this, just be aware that this is a amplifier design, designed for single sideband, which is a highly intermittent peak waveform. We're going to be doing it with a continuous wave, sine wave. So it's going to tend to heat it up a whole lot more than what you would normally do during operation. So you need to really be careful and to make the measurement as quick as you can so you don't overheat your output device. So we're going to apply some input. Input's on the bottom, one volt per division. Output's on the top. We haven't got turned on. We'll turn it on. So right now there's a little over a volt going in and we're getting maybe 20 volts out. I'm going to crank it up till I get 30 volts out. Yeah, I have 30 volts out on the top, 10 volts per division, and I have about 2.4 volts input on the bottom. So I'm going to turn power off so I don't heat overheat the device. And we can calculate the dB gain. We voltage 1 over voltage 2, so I have 30 volts divided by 2.4 volts. Take the log of that, and multiply it times 20, and it says we have 21.9 dB of gain. So that's probably not too bad. I don't know what one's supposed to measure here. But we can get more out of it, and we will do that for a brief period of time here. We're going to go for a little more. I'm going to turn the input up and watch the output of the amplifier.
and I'll hit a point where I start get it right there where I don't get a whole lot of gain for what I'm putting in. We're starting to to limit at that point. And if we look, we're running about 37, 38 volts. Just to illustrate, I'm going to turn the frequency down to 11 megahertz and we'll rerun that and you'll see we get quite a bit more out. Because remember, we calculated 2.6 dB of loss to that filter. See, down here I can get considerably more than 40 volts out. We'll go to 20 volts per division and adjust it up. And I can get a good solid, oh, it looks like 45. 45 volts out before I start saturating. If we calculate that, we can calculate the power. Peak envelope power is calculated by taking the peak to peak voltage divided by 2 to get the peak voltage, then multiply that times 0.707 to get the RMS voltage. So once you have the RMS voltage, you use the formula E squared over R. So it would be just the RMS voltage squared divided by 50 ohms in this case. We'll go ahead and calculate the peak envelope power. We have 45 volts divided by 2 is equal to 22 and a half volts times 0 0.707. That's 15.9 and we're going to square that. That's 253 and divide it by 50 ohms. And that says we had about 5 watts of power out at that point. So what we need to do is rework the filter just a little bit to where I don't lose that 2.6 dB.